Today, I'm cutting geodes, these ones. And back by popular demand is not the geodes or me, it's my wife. These are my geodes. <laughs> so the last time we did a cutting session together, she cut one Trancus geode open. So today we are cutting just Trancus geodes open to find some crystal goodness on the inside and she's doing most of the cutting today. Cool. All Trancus geodes from Mexico and another your geodes, but chivalry is not dead, men. So I'll carry this over here. Dealer's choice, which one do you want to cut first? This one, because it has pink in it. Ooh, good choice. Yeah. Hmm. This one. Ooh, big old, kind of a double bubble. <laughs> Thing's got some character to it. <laughs> All right, so yeah, cutting these, and we're using a newer thin center blade, so should be a nice smooth cut for you. I haven't peeked of any of these. Yeah, and even though I didn't cut these, just by watching, I was like, I think that these are gonna be geodes on the inside for sure, because of how quick they cut. First one. Whee! What? I thought there'd for sure be a cavity. It's probably because of the softer stuff here, but we Okay, what's this? This is just kind of like the matrix, like kind of the natural, I wouldn't say host rock, but it's not crystally or any of that. You got a little bit of agity yeah. details up in here. I thought for sure this would have a cap. <laughs> so let's see that big double. Okay. That doesn't double bubble. Double bubble. Let's see it. Oh Ooh. my goodness. That is sweet. Double geode. And it's got really cool agate bands on the right hand side Ooh. or the bottom there. That's really cool. That is really, Can really they... sweet. Pretty. Awesome. Okay, we got the UV light, and this one actually reacts. Ooh. It's so green. So, so green. The other one didn't do anything at all, and this is one of the best kind of green lit up I've had in a long time. Love it. Very radioactive. Well, she had so much fun with that last cut. I think I'm gonna cut this one now, and I mean, okay, I guess she's cutting this one now. I did not get a peek. Ready? Yeah. Oh, that's Ooh. pretty sweet. Ooh, it's got a little bit of green. I got a lot of light going on in here, but it definitely reacts to the UV light. That is sweet. I love the white love kind of it. feathering yep. up in there. And there's some more bands in there too. That one's gonna look really cool, all polished up. And speaking of polishing, if we get a lot of really beautiful geodes from this cutting session, we are going to be polishing all of these on my 8-inch Cab King, and I love polished geodes. Where'd you go? Yeah, we're totally gonna polish later. Anyways, your turn. Oh, what was it that you just said? <laughs> anyway, I think we should do this one. Geode got back. <laughs> got this one, but this one looks kind of cool. Love it. And... Let's do these three. They're like double bubbles. Hopefully we can get some double geode pockets or really big geode crystals. Green reactive, I don't know. Let's just cut them. See if it was. Oh, mm. it was just a little bit, just a little bit down in there. I think that'll be a really ooh, even got a little calcite right there. But it'll take a good polish. It'll be kind of fun. But yeah, the pink stuff. I don't know exactly what that kind of like mineral that's in there. But it's really cool when you get those little bonuses. But I want a bigger crystal cavity, so I'm gonna cut another one. Down 
down here, it just whizzed through for a little bit. So I think there's definitely, yeah, Ooh. there's, oh my gosh. Not so much on this side, but look at, I'm not gonna touch it very hard because that will break. That is crazy. Look at that long stick. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I really hope that that turns out well with the polish. That'll be really cool. And then this side too is just kind of, this does have some crystally gonna stone in here. It is a double, but the side's just a little lighter. So that's cool. We got one really good one. That is awesome. What are you feeling? I'm feeling like these geos are gonna be more geo <laughs> <laughs> trying to find a rattle. Not a single rattle. Anyway, this one is really light compared to its size. Um, so Duffy, I think I'll have you cut that one. And then this one, there's a literal hole. So I'm gonna have you cut that one too. Guaranteed G on that guy. And it looks like it has white bots inside it. Sweet. Cool. But I'll cut my last double bubble and hopefully it's a G on the inside. <laughs> Yeah, that'll be good. How'd it feel? Solid. See if we can hear it. That is a solid face. Yeah, just oh, there's really some agate pretty. bands. Yes, yeah, got some agate bands in there. Really cool feathering. A little, it is technically a double geode, just not huge. So, this goes to show you, you can't always guarantee what you're going to cut. I do think these are really beautiful. They look awesome with that mirrored finish with the polish, but want the big crystal pocket. So, my wife is going to cut her last two geodes. Hopefully, they're geodes. I really want to get a big cavity with crystals on the inside. So, hopefully we can get that for her. So if you guys could join me in thanking her for coming out for another Aww. cutting and polishing session. I love her so much. She's my best buddy in the world. She's the best rock cutter I know. <laughs> She's so amazing. So yeah, we're gonna cut it open. She's gonna cut it open and then we're gonna get to polishing. Okay, mm. like this way? Yes. Dude on the ridge, the big ridge. You got this. Let's do it. You got it. <laughs> Your face! You were looking like you were going to crash a car. <laughs> uh, yeah, all right. Give it a little, right. like, rotate. I think, oh, it's definitely a geode. Oh, oh my yeah. gosh! It's a heart. It is a heart. Oh, it's oh so sweet. That is awesome. Look at that. Wow. Crazy. Oh that is the best one. Good it is totally job. a heart. Oh. Two hearts for two people in love. Stop. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> this is pretty. That's really, really cool. That oh is gosh. sweet. I love Sick. it. Great crystals in there. Great, great crystals. Okay, so while she's cutting her last geode over here, it's got a hole in it. It's got bots in there. I'm going to clean that one out and get it dried off to show the Druzu crystals pre-polished. It'll be sweet. So This way? Uh, yeah, you could do it like that. Um, oh, yeah, absolutely. You're right. You're right. Like that. Yeah, perfect. Okay. Okay. He's drying it off. You're polishing both of these, right? Oh, yeah. All dried oh up. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. That is nuts. And literally. they're both good, both sides. Yeah, let me grab that other one to dry it off. Look at that. That's crazy, it's like diamonds. Mm. Wow. Yeah, that is so awesome. I love it. Big one in the middle there. <laughs> it's got a nose. Yeah, that was awesome. <laughs> it's gonna look sweet all polished up. Yeah.
So without further ado, the last cut, the one that had the hole in the side. Oh, we got stuff falling out. Oh, Whoa. that is super, oh super gosh. sweet. Big old fat crystals in there. Is that, oh, it's like, is that calcite? It feels like calcite down in here. That's really, really cool. Some white bots over on this end. That is really cool. Quill. Quill. It's so quill. <laughs> I don't even know what I was going to say. <laughs> That's funny. That is sweet, though. We'll get that one cleaned off, too. It's so blue. It is. I love it. It's not dried off, but the coloring in that is really, really sweet. Got some blues in there. Awesome. So we ended up getting some pretty good geodes cut open in this session. Well, she got the good geodes. I got a lot of solid cuts, but I'm happy that she got the good ones. So we're about to get to polishing, but I want you guys to know all of these polished geodes are going to be going up on my Etsy. And fun fact, she does 95% of the packing for mm -hmm. Etsy. So thank you so much for that. But now the hard work is going to begin. We are going to get to polishing all of these geodes. Yeah, she's got it. Uh, looks like it's just gonna be you and me for the polishing session. And yeah, I get it. There's a lot of work to do. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pairs of geodes to polish. I don't know if I'm gonna get them all done with the amount of time that I have today, but I'm gonna polish the best of the best, which is all of the ones that she cut. I think I maybe got one good one, but it's gonna be really fun. So I'm gonna be polishing on my eight inch Cab King. I have doubled up res wheels, 280, 600, 1200, and 3000 to get that nice mirrored polish. It's gonna be awesome. So I'm gonna to get to work and as I finish them, I will show you now. So as you saw, I got the three best geodes polished from this polishing session. It took a little bit longer than I expected, so I have run out of time to polish more, but I will be getting more polished and put up on my Etsy store. As far as that really beautiful heart-shaped geode with the big crystal point, that one is on my display shelf. I'm keeping that, such a great memory for me, getting to cut geodes with my wife, and she got that amazing crystal goodness geodes so excited for her so thank you all so much for watching i had a blast i know my wife had a blast and i hope you did too we'll see you next time bye